It's, I, I honestly can't quite believe that I managed to bring home another gold medal. Um, skeleton is a tough sport and you never know what's going to happen until that last kind of time split and, and looking at all the times together, but it's a huge relief that it all came together. Um, I think it's always hard to know what the future holds because before I went to the Olympics I didn't know how I was going to get on so now I have a couple of weeks of, um, well I'll be doing media work now, I had it as rest and recovery but it's busy and it's good to be busy because I get to show my friends and family my medal and, and, and thank them all for all the hard work and support that they've given me over the years but I'll, I'll get back to Bath where we're based as a team and have a celebration meal that I'm looking forward to. I guess in the race itself I was actually suffering from a chest infection and after the first run I was at the point of pulling out of the race and my physio Louise came and spoke to me and reminded me that you know I, I can do it and just to, to give it another go and do the best that I can so you know that's one small example of like the hundreds of times that I've not believed in myself and wanted to just stop and but people have believed in me when I didn't and um, yeah and thank God that they knew that I could do it because I wasn't sure and now I'm just so excited to share it with them all and thank them all. My next move is probably getting back to Bath, seeing the whole team because we've got like 20 other skeleton athletes who are really impressive and chomping up all of our heels so um, I guess showing them the medal and, and showing them that they can do it too. Keep coming round, keep coming round. Keep coming. 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 Look, we have some round here. Thank you. Sorry, can we have one round this way, please? Start that one. Please, first, mate. Yes, please.